Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Ooch, and today we are here to talk about V Jump and some of the content that will be included in this February issue. I can't believe these people freaking released a February issue. Like, they're like two months ahead, but that's besides the point. The February issue, which obviously is coming out 2019, um, next year, which is in just a few weeks for the, the new year, of course. Um, and and I wanted to show off two of the you know highlighting pictures that were previously shown on Twitter and other social media outlets um, that you might have. I for one definitely shared them on my accounts. Um, and what you're looking at on the left is the cover, the brand new cover. And I would imagine that the one the page on the right is one of the um, inside pages you know showing off some super dragon ball heroes cards and some new upcoming figures adding to the plethora of dragon ball figure merch lines and whatnot and what have you but most importantly this is pretty much going to be more of a jump force video even though there are a bunch of things that will be coming out in this magazine v jump is filled with video game news and also includes the new Dragon Ball Super chapter, which we won't really be talking about here today. We'll probably hold off on that one until the full chapter comes out so that way I can review it for you guys in full detail. Um, but right now, I just want to get my thoughts and excitement out for what I am about to highlight right now. So first up, we're going to talk about my man Trunks. Yes, Trunks is here. He is now. He is live. He is confirmed officially for Jump Force. Now, he wasn't uh, joined, or I'm sorry, he wasn't included in this game alone, okay? He is actually a part of two others that were also announced being Renji and Boa. Uh, Renji being from Bleach and Boa being from one piece now obviously well not obviously because i don't know if you're not a lot of you not a lot of you guys know this but i have not seen a single bit of one piece at all so unfortunately for me i have really not mu i don't have anything uh much to say about boa outside of you know her being another thick waifu i'm sure a bunch of you guys are drooling over her and her tatas and whatnot the old pies is real. Oh my, what an angle. They definitely did that on purpose. But Ranji being one of my favorite characters in Bleach definitely reminded me that I got to catch up and finish with the manga. Um, I'm super excited to even see that they, that they are, each each franchise is getting yet another character, um, you know, to represent, you know, Dragon Ball, One Piece, and bleach and i think it's it it's 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 pretty cool to see trunks got more screenshots than renji and boa did so that just goes to show you the popularity and also if you guys are wondering like why are certain series getting more characters than others i think it mainly has to do with the overall popularity over time with the series and obviously since Dragon Ball, One Piece, they are, you know, two of the biggest uh, sellers, as, as, especially One Piece to this day. One Piece is still the number one uh, selling manga right now in Shonen Jump. And, you know, Dragon Ball Z did his time back in the day. So, of course, they're going to get a handful of characters, a good amount of characters. And, you know, with Bleach on the surface, you know, rumored, of course, sp the speculation is real out there for all the people that are still praying and hoping for a bleach comeback well trust me i'm one of those people that wants to see bleach make a return but we're gonna we're talking more a little bit about that towards the end of the video um and so yeah so we got trunks Ranji, and boa and today recently they just showed us actually no it was like yesterday at the time of this recording they showed off a scan of deku aka midoriya yes he is in Midoriya Izuku, a.k.a. Deku, from My Hero Academia, is officially announced for Jump Force. I know some some of you out there were kind of speculating and worried that My Hero would not have any kind of representation in a game like Jump Force. Some were saying, like, oh, well, 
you know, there's My Hero Wants Justice, so there's no way, like, there's, they're going to put, you know, any kind of My Hero Academia characters in, you know, two fighting games that are so close together in release. And honestly, that's kind of a, it's kind of a bad thing to go off of. Like, I don't, I don't see how, like, that's not really a good enough reason, like, you know, to not include a character that, it, you know, to not include a series, I should say that's so popular and loved by millions of fans, dare I say, across the world. Um, you know, My Hero Academia has been doing super well, especially the anime adaptation has, you know, it gets a lot of a lot of uh raving reviews and love from a bunch of people. So here here are some of the scans showing off how crisp my man Deku looks in this game. I, I swear any character they put in Jump Force just looks like a hundred times better than they do in their original format. You know, whether it's their own manga or the anime themselves. It just looks amazing. It couldn't the graphics on this game is, you know, up, like totally like, you know, lost for words. Like it, they just look amazing. But before we go, I also want to give a huge shout out to another character that y'all you, you think I forgot to mention this one. Oh, please. Just a few days ago, before they even revealed Midoriya, they revealed Asta from Black Clover. You heard it here. You heard if you If you didn't know, well, now you know. Yes, Asta from Black Clover got announced before Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Now, I, that probably doesn't mean much to a lot of people or to anybody, but to me... I think that that is huge, and that just goes to show, you know, like, how popular Black Clover really is. And I know it, it's starting to finally catch on to, you know, a bunch of people now with, you know, the uprising in people, you know, starting to watch the anime, pay more attention to the anime. And I'm sure, you know, that will point their attention towards reading the manga or wanting to read the manga, and for those that also didn't know, Black Clover literally started like within the same year My Hero Academia did. So they are basically the same age, even though I think My Hero Academia is probably like 24 chapters older than Black Clover as far as the manga goes. Okay, Black Clover didn't get its anime adaptation until late 2017. My Hero Academia, of course, had, um, you know, a lead with that being, you know, you know, the, the popularity went so, so went by super quick that they had to adapt into an anime super fast to, you know, catch, you know, the people's attention and, you know, capitalize on that. So of course, here are some amazing screens to show off the crisp. And yes, that is Demon Form Asta. Don't, you know, you see the, the red, you see the eye, you see the curse mark looking jaws on his face. All that good stuff. It's not curse mark. It's just you know. It just it just reminds me of the curse mark. Just, look that. Look at that. This game visually, and I have played. It. I played the the, the 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 demo, or the beta when they had that. You know, for like a weekend, um, like a few months ago. And the game itself does. It's a fun game. It plays pretty solid for being an arena fighter. Um, and arena fighters, like I always say, there's always going to be some kind of jank to them. Um, but Jump Force so far, I mean. It feels like it does a pretty good job. I know. I, I feel like it's gonna have a lot more replay value than My Hero Wants Justice. Unfortunately, I haven't played that game in a long time because I, you know, that's neither here nor there. If you want to hear about my whole entire thought on uh, Wants Justice, I highly recommend you go check out my real talk video about that after you're done watching this. So, yes, Asta. I wanted to say personally, this is probably one of my most excited announced characters next to trunks which i didn't honestly think that they were actually going to add any more characters from one piece or dragon ball and if they did it maybe could have been the new broly which i'm still kind of hoping for because you know the the the, the movie comes out mid-january the game comes out early february i feel like that would be a really good opportunity for Bandai to really hop on that and really push their sales by releasing a cat or including a character that you know I'm sure a lot of people are going crazy over. I mean, the new Broly is amazing. I mean, who's to say we might not we may we may see him 
and Gochita in fighters, but that's beside the point. So, yes, Asta and Trunks were my two um, huge surprise and, you know, give me gave, gave me a lot of excitement. Um, and I'm looking forward to um, this game a lot more now that the, this, this, this roster is filling up very nicely. And I know that a lot of people are super happy for Midoriya being in the game. Because, again, it's, it's getting pretty close. We're only two months out from the game's official release. So that we'll all have it in our hands to play, stream, whatnot, re- critique it, review it, break it down, you know, what have you. And, you know, being so close to the game's release, people were afraid. Like, oh, are we going to get Midoriya? Or, like, what's up? But, you know, fear not. Not only is Midoriya in there. Of course, Asta is as well. And joining them will be Trunks. We will see Renji. And we will see Boa from One Piece. Now, before I go, I do want to say, again, I am super excited for Jump Force. And at first, I was very skeptical. But now, you know, having... Having played it prior and then seeing all of the newer characters that they've been adding, the cooler stages, and I am aware that there is a a story mode trailer, which I guess you can expect a reaction out of me to you know, um, you know to to get more content for Jump Force out there for you guys to discuss amongst yourselves and whatnot. And also, so uh, one one other thing before I go, um, expect a jump festa video from your boy okay now this has nothing to do with jump force well it kind of does actually this is actually a, a, a light segue but bandai will be there they will be present they will be showcasing a bunch of their games from console to smartphones i have a whole list in front of me that i'll just read a few that are that caught my attention okay so they are going to have trailers for the following games black clover quartet nights yes they do have a black clover game and i'm sure a lot of you guys forgot about it um just like me dragon ball fighters there's there will be a trailer for it uh, Jump Force, of course. My Hero Wants Justice. So it looks like we will be getting some more DLC, maybe some um, some actual balance updates. Who knows? Um, that game is pretty busted as it is. So if they are fixing it, planning to fix it, that's really good to know. Um, Naruto Boruto Shinobi Striker, f- a-, a trailer. Um, and of course, Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission on the Switch. Uh, now these are the console games that you know caught my attention, and of course there are a couple others like One Piece and Tales of Vesperia and whatnot, God Eater Three. But the games that I first listed right there have my complete attention. I want to see what they're gonna reveal, what they're gonna give us, and as far as um, the Jump Force and Fighters is concerned, I'm hoping that they do show that there will be a Season 2 for Fighters. I do hope that the first pack, I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the background, um, that the first pack will include Gochita and it will include the new Broly. Um, and then as far as the smartphone games go, there's a Black Clover one, which is, I, I had no idea that they were gonna, they were gonna have a Black Clover um, smartphone game. And then, of course, there's a bunch of new Dragon Ball Z ones, some Digimon stuff. So, um, oh, there's a My Hero Academia one in there, too. So that's really cool to know. And outside from the video game announcements that we can expect from Jump Festa, which is in a f- just a few days, uh, the week is the 22nd to the 23rd, um, there are some speculation or some rumors on, you know, some anime uh, updates. Now, again, I will save all that for another video. This was the V-Jump special. The news, some of the news, regard, mainly focusing on Jump Force. Um, so, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit me up on Twitter. You guys know the drill. All the links are in the description uh, below. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. May the power protect you. I'll see y'all next time.